throwing knives are a lot of fun, but uh, it's pretty difficult. I've tried throwing for like hours for a few days and it's still pretty hard. I wouldn't consider myself any good at throwing them. Today I'm going to head down to a local park that has burrowing owls. But uh, the last few times I've headed out there I didn't come across any. And I shot video and I ended up never using that video. no owls out here either today so I'm gonna try a few other spots where I know I've seen them. They could be spotted pretty much all over town but there's at least two other spots where I've seen them several times so I'll try those out. I'm out at a golf course right alongside Rotary Park. I shot photos at this park before uh, to get pictures of a hawk. I didn't get very good pictures though. But when I first got here, I spotted a hawk flying around. I think it was a Cooper's hawk. Not too sure. All right. And then uh, there's some lady I ran into. She told me that uh, people out here have spotted a bobcat early in the morning at the wash that runs through this uh, golf course. Maybe I'll have to try that sometime, come out here early in the morning. Looks like that burrowing owl's hole is filled up with dirt, so it's not there anymore. Uh, there's a lot of people out golfing today. Like maybe I'll just make one loop around the golf course and then I'll head back to Rotary Park. Because there at Rotary Park, all the trees' leaves have changed color. They're like red. Be cool to get a picture of a colorful bird within those leaves. So there's a tree right here with like some red berries and a bunch of birds flying in and out of it. So I'm going to set up my tripod and just sit here and snap away. The only problem I have with this tree is that it's very barren. So in the background you're just getting blown out sky. It's kind of an overcast day today. So I'm going to try to point my camera towards where the... Uh, the leaves are real thick, so I'll have a background of just more leaves instead of a white background. So shooting photos and all of a sudden all the birds scattered and that hawk that I saw earlier came swooping in. I think I saw what tree it went to. I'm going to head over there see if I can get photos of it. So I got to the tree where the hawk was at and then it flew to another tree. Snapped a few quick photos of it. Used my tripod and used my timer. Trying to get where the branches aren't covering it. Hopefully with the stabilized shot and it not moving much, I can use the slow shutter speed. Get a low noise, low noise image. So that hawk was in that tall tree for a while. I tried to get closer, get photos of it, but it took off. And the hawk landed in a smaller tree and a group of people walked under Neath that tree and the hawk didn't take off, but as soon as I got there it took off. It must know it's being followed.
I went to the other side of this grass bowl here at the park, but these trees are pretty barren too. There's not that many little birds flying around over here. I'm seeing a few right now, but not a whole lot. I'm gonna keep walking around the park and uh, just shoot photos of whatever I could get. Well, I didn't get pictures of burrowing owls, but I got pictures of lots of other birds. And with those fall colors. So, this is still a pretty good day. I'm gonna go get some food to eat and uh, sit down, relax start going through these images it's quite an overcast day which is okay it'll I'll be able to have some moody type shots with it being a little dark yeah I think that's gonna be it